guys, welcome back to another episode of Wedding Weekend. I am very excited about this video. I've been working on it for the past couple weeks now, and I think it's definitely going to be helpful for those of you who are still looking for your wedding dress or maybe still looking for a particular designer or just your entire wedding dress vibe. So what I've done is, first of all, I've already mentioned that I have already picked out my wedding dress. As a matter of fact, I got the phone call today that it came in. It took like three or four months to uh, come in. And so I just got the call today that it's in and it's ready to be fitted, you know, whenever we're ready to go and do that. Uh, but you guys know I've already picked out my wedding dress. And even after I picked out my wedding dress, I was still just infatuated with wedding dresses. I still love looking at, you know, designers on Instagram and bridal boutiques on Instagram and just Pinterest. I still, I love, I just love wedding dresses. If there's one thing that I have learned so much about during the engagement and wedding planning process, it has been wedding dresses and wedding designers. I'm just all about it. Two of my friends recently got engaged and I have been like non-stop looking and sending uh, dresses and designers to them. So uh, what I've done is I have collected probably about nine or ten dresses and different designers to share with you guys that I really personally love. When I look at these dresses I just I think that there's something special and unique about them and they just kind of speak to me. Uh, so I'm going to be going through and showing you photos and details on all of these dresses and the designers and that way if you are still looking for your wedding dress you may end up seeing something you like and you may be able to find it in your area. So let's go ahead and get started. This may be a little bit of a longer video, but I hope you guys enjoy it. I was just very passionate about doing this video and you guys seem to want me to do it on Snapchat. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first dress is by the designer Leela Rose. And if you remember my try on video where I went to Nashville to white dresses, the girls at white dresses actually introduced me to Leela Rose. They said, you know, we really feel like your style is a Leela style and they were totally right. I adore Leela Rose now. I love all of her dresses. She has this very clean aesthetic, uh, classic. She's Nothing is ever overdone and they also told me that she designs for Kate Middleton and I could definitely see that through her designs as well. I feel like Kate Middleton again, very elegant, classic. Uh, simple and timeless and that is definitely Leela Rose. So this first dress is called the waterfall and if I'm looking down to my left a lot it's because I have the pictures right here for reference. Uh, the waterfall, oh my gosh, when I look at this dress I just think like pure innocence and elegance. I love, and can I just throw this out there really quick? All of these dresses I'm showing you guys, absolutely none of them resemble the wedding dress that I ended up with. And I think that's because the dresses I'm showing you guys are dresses I love but I know would never personally work for me. Uh, for example, back to this dress, I I love everything about it but the, it has a plunging neckline. And a lot of the dresses I'm going to show you do have that plunging neckline. I don't know why I'm so into that right now. Uh, but I would personally never be able to wear that. But I love it on the model. I love it when I, um, I'm a freak. I, I Google pictures of other women in these dresses so I can get an idea of, you know, how they look on different people. And this dress is just stunning. I, it's an ivory, uh, off-white ivory dress. It has this just wonderful, I would definitely say more of like a, maybe A-line silhouette to it. And then it has these really subtle embellishments that almost look like to me, maybe like a chrysanthemum flower, but what I love most about this dress is the back. The back is so unique and it still keeps that classic and elegant look. Uh, I can't really tell if there's, if it's completely bare uh, or if there is a nude or mesh lining over the back part. I want to say it's totally bare, uh, but I love the back of this dress. I just think it adds um, such a, I don't know, the, the whimsical, I guess, touch to the dress. As if the dress isn't whimsical enough, I just, I love the back of this dress. So this one is the Waterfall by Leela Rose. This next dress is also by Leela Rose and it is called the Dock. And when I look at this dress, I, again, I think timeless and classic look. But what I also think of is more of a mature style or more of a mature look. Uh, I feel like this dress is very reminiscent of someone who 
uh, may have an elopement by the water uh, or just I don't know something about this dress just seems like very private intimate you know classic not overdone one thing I absolutely love about this dress is the top portion how it is so loose and drapey and you don't really see that on a ton of wedding dresses this wedding dress is definitely more of a modern style in my opinion uh, but I love the clean top and then on the bottom portion you have all of the fun going on so you've got that really nice I want to say that this is a floral detail uh, it's hard for me to zoom in and see everything on it but I definitely feel like uh, there's a floral pattern going on with the skirt portion or the bottom portion of this dress and I love that because most of the time I wouldn't be big on those details but since the top of the dress is just clean nothing on it I love how all of the details just tie in and kind of just make the dress complete the back of the dress it's got that nice open kind of keyhole back but still again very drapey very just loose very laid back and I definitely feel like that would be the style of dress if you are that type of person this dress would appeal appeal to you because it is such a elegant dress but still I, I, I would assume it's comfortable I look at it and I think dang that thing's probably comfortable but also just very laid back the next dress is by the designer Sarah Seven. Sarah Seven was actually a designer. One of you guys who watches my wedding videos recommended to me when I was still looking for, you know, my wedding dress. And I had actually planned on going to a place in Nashville called The Dress Theory who carries Sarah Seven uh, to try some of her dresses, but I ended up finding my dress before we went there. Uh, so this particular dress by Sarah Seven is very popular. I just want to throw that out there. I see it on Instagram all the time, uh, but for a good reason, and it's called the Sullivan dress. So the Sullivan dress, to me, just, you know, being infatuated with wedding dresses and looking on Instagram daily at wedding dresses, I see this dress a lot, but I love every single thing about it. It is very classic. Uh, it has a really nice long cap sleeve on it. Uh, it's not quarter length, but it's not as tight as a regular cap sleeve would be. It's a little bit longer. There's probably a technical term for that. I do not know what that would be, but I love the sleeve length on this dress. Uh, and what I also really love about it is the front is very modest and clean. You're not going to find any beading or lace on this dress. Uh, but the front is very clean and then when you turn around and you look at the back you have this really nice open keyhole back i think that is such a great balance uh, because i feel like a lot of the times dresses can either be too revealing or too modest uh, and i feel like this dress has a perfect balance of both you know you have a little bit of skin showing from the back also in the front there is a slit that does go up pretty far it's not you know like too far it's not like whoa damn girl you should have sewn that up for your wedding again I think that works with this dress it just since the dress is you know pretty modest those little touches kind of add uh, that romantic vibe and I definitely see another reason I love this dress is I definitely can see this working for a ton of different brides whether you're a boho bride a classic bride uh, a modern bride I just feel like this dress could work in so many different themes and environments uh, and I, I love it I think it's a gorgeous again classic dress now I want to move into the designer of my gown which is Pronovius you guys know I mentioned I mean just the in the short amount of time that I was looking for a wedding dress I saw Pronovius wedding dresses and I just knew I wanted my dress to be Pronovius and I'm normally not that type of person that would care about a brand but I just loved every single thing I saw from Pronovius and so I have a couple that I want to show you that I actually wanted to try on for myself but they were never within my reach to get so I just feel like I have to show them to you guys because they're just they're gorgeous so this first one is by Pronovius it is from their Atelier collection they have two different uh, collections they have their regular and their Atelier which I guess would be considered a little bit more pricey a little bit more elite but this dress is probably the most sexy wedding dress I have ever seen and I wanted to try it on for myself but I actually did not realize how revealing it was and I remember I was gonna have the girls at white dresses order it for me to try on and they were like you do know the front of this dress is a little revealing right and I didn't pay that close of attention to it 
uh, it's very revealing but in a classy way still so this dress is the Vicenta by Pronobius and uh, I feel like if you are a Pronobius fan you will know the Vicenta it's also a very popular dress this season I have seen a lot of people on Instagram wearing this dress what I personally loved about it was the back I loved the long train I love the fitted uh, you know silhouette of it and then that just bare back with those embellished details going through I just thought oh my gosh that is amazingly gorgeous I want to try that on for myself but then when you actually uh, look at the front of the dress it is a little bit more on the revealing side so the front of the dress is kind of the same thing you have that see-through mesh going through all the way through the chest area and then over your boobs basically is a small amount of lace overlay um and when i say small it's pretty small so you would definitely have to have a certain chest size i feel like to uh wear this dress uh but i still look at it and i think oh that's really sexy but it's still not over the top i still think it's it's classy it's done in a classy way uh and also the skirt on this dress the train it does have some uh, some type of pattern going through it. It's really hard to tell from the photos. A lot of Pronovius photos are just in black and white, uh, but it's still clean. You do have a little bit more going on as far as like lace and embellishments and things like that. I think it does have a small belt on it as well, uh, but it's still clean in my opinion, not overdone. And I just, oh, every time I see a girl on this dress, I'm like, slay the Vicenta. Slay it. Next dress, also by Pronovius. It was one that I, again, wanted to try really, really bad. Uh, but we just could never get it in because it was uh, from a, I think, it's from the spring 2016 collection. But I still think you, if you were interested in it, you would be able to find it somewhere. Uh, so this dress, I'm just going to go ahead and say, if you are having a winter wedding, I have not found a dress that slays over this to date I mean this to me is like the epitome of a winter wedding dress and this is the Ivania dress by Pronovius uh, first of all the name Ivania it's like uh, you know you're gonna slay in this dress so again clean I believe the material is all crepe uh, so you have no no embellishments on this there's no lace there's no beading it's just 100% crepe you do have some buttons along the uh, wrist line of the dress I believe uh, really low v-neck back v-neck what it, what am I saying it's got a v-cut uh, back on it and uh, the front has a higher neckline what is that called probably like a boat neck I think is what this uh, neckline would be called just really high neckline I just look at this dress and I think oh oh my gosh the slayage is just never ending with this I just love the sleekness to it I uh, just it's just so classic. I just feel like if anyone had this dress, there's no possible freaking way you could look back on your wedding and be like, I did not rock that dress. I did not. You know what I mean? Like, there's no way anyone could look back and be like, oh, why didn't she pick that dress? The dress will forever, Ivanya will forever slay, okay? Next designer is Haley Page, who is one of the most popular wedding dress designers right now. And this was a gown that I had the opportunity to try on at White Dresses in Nashville. I did feature this dress in my wedding try on or wedding dress try on video. And I loved it. I just thought it was very unique. Uh, I only I only loved one part about it, but uh, it was still such a beautiful gown. And the reason I like this gown so much is it's a two-in-one gown, so it's got uh, basically two whole different looks that you can wear uh, depending on what you're going for. So this dress is called the Blue Bell by Haley Page, and the reason it's a two-in-one dress is because when you wear the lace overlay that it comes with, it's a long sleeve dress. When you take that off, it becomes a spaghetti strap, really fitted silhouette, uh, just clean aesthetic uh, wedding dress. And I absolutely just fell in love. First of all, can I just say that for me personally, the lace overlay did not work for me. I, I felt like it made me look a little grannyish. But uh, the girl that I'm showing you in this, in these photos, it looked amazing on her, I thought. Uh, so if you are the type of person that is looking for a dress uh, that kind of has that two-in-one feature, or if you wanted something totally 
uh, different from your ceremony to your reception, this would definitely be a dress for you. So with the lace overlay, you can see it has this really cool geometrical pattern to it. Not like what a traditional lace would be. You know, most laces are, are very floral. This is a really cool pattern. Uh, and then you take that off. All of that's completely gone and now you just have this really clean white spaghetti strap dress very fitted uh, the back is a crisscross lace back but we actually took that out when I tried it on because I was not crazy about that and it can become just a completely open back and that's what I personally love I love the open back look on this dress uh, also the train on it is pretty um, it's a pretty decent size and I love where the train starts it doesn't start immediately at your butt it starts a little bit lower and I think that's really flattering because it doesn't bring attention to your hips and your butt um, so yeah, this dress, again, it, it's just not to me very reminiscent of Haley Page's regular dress styles. Uh, and I think that's why I liked it so much. It just, it just has this cool vibe to it. This next dress is by the designer Alexander Greco. And I'm not totally familiar with this designer at all. I've only seen a few uh, dresses but this one really stood out to me because I felt like it was just so perfect for those of you who might be going for a boho vibe but also it's very reminiscent to me of like a Greek goddess like it's got that goddessy vibe to it again really loose plunging neckline one thing that uh, really shocked me that I did like about this dress is it is an all lace uh, pattern there's nothing really clean about it it's got a lot of lace going on uh, which I generally would not like uh, but something about this dress it just worked for me and I just thought it was so breezy and airy and I just thought oh my gosh any like girl that's going for that boho look or just that effortless you know goddess look this dress was just it was just beautiful. So for this next designer, you're gonna have to forgive me. I don't really have the best photos uh, because these dresses are brand new. I think they were just released for the fall collection. But the designer is Mariana Hardwick. And the dress that really just kind of uh, stood out to me when I was looking at her uh, designs and her new collection. This particular dress just stood out to me because uh, it's an all beaded dress or it has this, uh, again it's really hard to tell what the material is. I can tell it's a little shimmery. Uh, I want to say that it's it's beads uh, or beading, uh, but this dress is called the Sienna Gown by Mariana Hardwick and it is so glamorous but still in a classic and not overdone way. Uh, when I look at this dress, I just, I think like kind of old Hollywood glamour, but in a bridal way, if that makes sense. And I think I'm trying to find the photo that I had of the neckline on this dress. I do believe the neckline is a little bit plungy, uh, a little bit open, but I really do just love, I, you know, for me personally, like beads were never an option. I'm just going to tell you my dress has no beads on it. Um, and it's just funny that I would like this dress because from the photos that I can see there's so just everything is just completely cascading in either beads or just some type of reflective material I can't tell what the um, the actual material is but it just speaks to me in this like I said this glamorous and effortless way the final dress is definitely gonna be for all of my boho brides out there but I think this is such a cool gown this is by the designer Bowen Luca I believe Bowen Luca is an Australian uh, designer I don't know if it's two people or if it's just one person uh, but the name Bowen Luca doesn't that just sound really cool so I discovered them also from the Dress Theories uh, Instagram, and I'll link all of these Instagrams where I find these dresses down below so you guys can um, take a look too. But this particular dress I just thought was so cool. It's called the Isra Dress by Bo and Luca. And what's really neat about it is it is definitely like you, will, you are not going to be interested in this dress unless you are 100% boho, boho vibes, 
all the way for your wedding uh, because it does have a little bit of skin showing through the stomach area which I do feel like is very reminiscent of a boho wedding dress but what's also really neat about this dress is it has this almost hook in the front of it and I'll insert the photo right now so you can see what I'm talking about do you see that little button right in the middle almost right above where the belly button is uh, so you can unhook that and it turns into an actual skirt top combo it turns it's no longer you know a fully attached dress you can actually untouch that and it turns into even more of a boho look in my opinion and i love the intricate details again of the top uh, i love the cap sleeve on it and then just all of that amazing detail from the top but then when you go to the bottom portion or the skirt portion of the dress it's totally clean and again that's just an aesthetic that i personally I, I like I'm okay with details but I don't want everything to be covered in details if that makes sense uh, and again that's just my personal style but I just thought this dress was so cool uh, really unique it's definitely more leaning towards the ivory side of things uh, definitely not a traditional wedding dress but I, I just thought it would be a cool thing to share for for the boho people out there alright guys so those were all of the dresses that I had to share for this series if you want me to keep doing these videos definitely let me know down below uh, because it does take quite a while for me to you know research these brands and and find out the materials and the details and all of that so if you don't want to keep seeing these then you know just let me know and we'll move on to something else uh, but I thought it would be fun to maybe do like an affordable series where I research some dresses that you know are affordable but still you know gorgeous and that a lot of people uh, could pull off so I thought about doing that uh, I've also just thought about you know sticking with just showing you guys what I really have been loving and what I think is unique and classic but let me know what you want to see for uh, the next video if you do want to see uh, another another series like this and um, yeah I thank you guys so much for watching look forward to an update video coming up uh, within the next couple weeks I'm going to update you guys on what I've gotten done so far we've definitely booked a ton of important things uh, and I'm excited to share that with you all so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I feel like <laughs> after you've seen all of these dresses that I've shown in this video, you're going to think like, man, her dress was nothing like what I thought it was going to be. But just know, again, the dresses I'm showing in this video, like they, none of them are even close to what my wedding dress looks like. And I feel like you guys, when you see my wedding dress, you're going to be maybe shocked a little bit, but also at the same time, you're going to think okay that's still what she was describing so I'm gonna leave it there because I don't want to give away too many details but I hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below and I will see you all in my next video bye